Don't get me wrong, I love the character of Soka, but after reading two separate articles about why she needs to appear in the Bad Batch Season 2, it got me questioning, why do people want Ahsoka in so many cameos? One of the articles wanted her to appear in the show because the Clone Force 99 aren't considered a major Star Wars figure, and that Ahsoka could fulfill that role. The show could also explore Ahsoka's adventures post Order 66 and play a significant role in removing inhibitor chips from clone troopers like Commander Cody's for example. But I feel like we've got plenty of coverage with Ahsoka post prequel trilogy with the likes of the Tales of the Jedi, Rebels and her self titled novel. Just because some parts of the book have been retconned I don't think it warrants a full retelling in a different medium. But with the appearance of Rex and Bail Organa in the new trailer, it's very likely this second season will bridge the gap between the Clone Wars and Rebels for many characters, and that is likely going to be for Ahsoka too. Ahsoka is a fantastic addition to the Star Wars story, but to stop the universe from feeling tiny, we need to branch away into different characters, and not be afraid to have smaller leads with lower stakes. It's perhaps why Andor was such a success with critics and fans alike. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments, and if you want more Star Wars shorts, check out this one appearing on the end screen now.